Welcome to the Lakeport Bass Fishing Report. I'm Bassmaster Touring Pro Lance Vick and guide on Lake Fork. Now, it's been 10 days since our last report on February 19th, and uh, lots happened since then. Or not a lot's happened, whatever way you look at it. I've probably fished 5 out of the 10 days, and uh, probably, let's see, 3 out of those 5 days uh, didn't have much to report. You know, we had some 6 to 10 fish days, which is okay if you can catch a big one but we never really caught any big ones uh, probably the biggest fish was six pounds so uh, the last two days have really turned on the water we received they let all the water out of the lake um, when we had the big rain a couple weeks ago and the water that really got muddy is now clearing up okay water temperature is rising from uh, we saw water temperature today up to 56 degrees now, this is really turning on the fish, and they're moving shallow, and they're biting. Uh, my primary technique right now is soft stick baits. Now, I use uh, three basic ones. I use the Honcho by Grandi Bass, the Grandi Stick, and the Rattlesnake. Now, the Rattlesnake's been the star. Um, I've been Texas rigging the Rattlesnake with uh, the small weight or even just weightless which is my favorite way but today my clients out of Austin David and Yuvi they uh, brought these Gamagachu hooks um, wacky worm hooks by Gamagachu um, kind of a wide gap round bend hook strong hook with a weed guard and uh, they said hey we can wacky worm these rattlesnakes now all, all you do to wacky worm with this hook come right through the middle of the worm in take your weed guard put it on the tip of the hook now most all of you know wacky worm can be a real productive way of fish and uh, today it really showed out it converted me from going from a Texas rig to a wacky worm the fall rate and the way this uh, rattlesnake wiggles really was catching them so Keep that in mind, uh, going from your Texas rig to, to a wacky worm, you might get more bites. Um, secondary pattern has been a spinnerbait. We've been going to the spinnerbait when it's windy or early in the morning. Um, you can cover a lot of water. I'll pick up a blade if I say I want to cover some water and uh, move to another little small area where I might slow down and pitch or throw a stick bait. So I'm always having spinnerbait handy. You can catch them real big fish on a spinnerbait this time of year. Just a basic white, white and chartreuse. And I use a double willow leaf or a Colorado and willow leaf. Um, I stick with the basic colors. Everybody has their favorites, but uh, the basics work. It's more how you throw them and where you throw them. Now, when you get in an area where you're catching fish, say on the spinnerbait or the soft stick bait, always have a flip, flipping stick ready. Uh, say a Grande Bass Mutant or a Jig and Crawl. This time of year, you can put this fish in, th these lures in front of a big fish and get right fast. Uh, I hope this tips can help you on your next trip to Lake Fork. And until next report, good fishing.